What up YouTube? Topaz Jace back for another daily review and this one is to that Kid Cudi Goodbye, which is a really interesting title for what he's actually rapping about here because what he's rapping about is his return to the game. Pretty much talking about how he's coming back to the game and recognizing that all of these people out here are relying on the image and everything, relying on the fact that they had some success but ultimately are all weak MCs. And I believe what he said best was Okay, Batman left Gotham City for a while, and now all the jokes is on you, Luke Skywalker. He's pretty much saying that he's Batman, he left the game for a while, and now there's a whole bunch of jokers out here. And the whole jokes on you, Luke Skywalker thing, for those who don't know, the guy who plays Luke Skywalker is actually the voice actor of the Joker. So overall, with him naming this project Goodbye, he's pretty much saying goodbye to the competition of all of the frauds and all of the people that's really not representing for hip-hop. And it's overall an enjoyable track, man. One that he self-produced and a lot of people looking at it like this is the return of the Kid Cudi that everybody has wanted. And it's hard to deny that, man. Especially now that he's saying he got two new projects that he's going to be dropping in 2016. And the first one is going to be Passion, Pain, and Demon Slaying. A track I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and peep out, man. It's pretty cool. But this concludes today's review and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Jackson Yulin before we take some of your questions. that rappers definitely do hide behind their content and hide behind their success and this is pretty much why people need to get away from the mainstream and I feel you 100% because that's a staple for the mainstream man you got to rap about the money the jewels and your success and everything it's pretty much the formula that people take in order to get recognition within the game and everything man in order to knock everybody else who hasn't risen up to that level as they use that to cover up the fact that they don't have any skills at all and it's really sad to see that. And Michael says about that Logic featuring Pusha T track that risk that Pusha T is spitting on the story but he's merely rapping about his life. Pretty much saying that him and his past was the young man in this story and no that is a blatant lie because this is the same thing he does on every track. This was not specifically targeted for any kind of story. This is him just rapping the way he's always rapped, man. So please don't put extras on it, man, and try to cover it up like he actually did something there because he didn't. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.